Hey guys, it's Heather and I am here making my cauldron bath bombs. I am super excited to make these. I am in the process of changing over my gloves. I um, have already got everything in here with the exception of my color and my fragrance. And then I found out that my camera wasn't recording. And uh, then when I had to take my glove off to fix it, it tore. So new gloves, new gloves. Uh, next up is the fragrance oil. I'm using Satsuma. I love the way this smells. That lovely orangey fragrance is fantastic. And I thought that might be fun in the cauldrons. And of course I'm making regular bath bombs with it as well. Um, but I wanted to get the cauldrons done first. I'm putting black glitter in and orange. Okay guys, for some reason my camera went off. I'm hoping it's not the battery or that the card isn't full because I've got to move really fast on this and I can't do that if it's not working appropriately. So let's see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and mix this in and get the color really vibrant. And then I will come right back. Okay, I'm going to spray in my witch hazel. Okay, and then stir to get it really good mixed in. I didn't want to use my mixer for this because I have the consistency that I want it to be when I put it in the cauldrons. I want to be able to feel the consistency and the thickness because I want every time you put the cauldron under the water for it to just bubble out in this beautiful way. it to look like a magic bubbling cauldron. Okay, I figured out what was wrong. It was the battery. Oh shoot. As I make a mess, as usual, I mean that's not new. Okay, perfect. Now I'm not filling them up fully because I'm going to add some red to the orange at the very end. But I am going to fill them up pretty well. Get my scale because I do want to weigh them. And I am pressing it in with my thumb to make sure it's in there really well. I'm not pressing hard, but I am pressing securely because I don't want it to get too thick and not work. Okay. I may actually put a skull in instead of the red. It's all a work in progress, you guys. You know me. I get inspired as I work. And I do have these incredible skulls. And they're made with um, biodegradable glitter. A mica glitter. And uh, I'm really excited to use them. So I actually may put that in the top instead of, that's a little too much. 
these are five ounce bath bombs not counting the skulls that go on top perfect I'll press it in And then let's see if I can fit the skull in the cauldron. Oh, I can. Check that out, you guys. What do you think? Just press that in. Each of the skulls has been dipped in clear melt and pour with glitter in it to make it nice and shimmery and to help it stand up to any kind of damage that may be done with people picking it up and things like that. Awesome, awesome, awesome blossom. Pressing it in, pressing it in. I'm trying to kind of make a divot in the center to rest the skull in. Just like that. And I press it so that it actually connects with the colorant. Or with the original bath bomb, not colorant. I keep feeling like it's getting under my gloves, but it's not. Press, press, press. Way. Okay. Press down. It's all in the way that you pack the bath bomb as to how it will bubble out. Perfect. Have it. And it should bubble up and around the skull. Perfect. I love it when I make it perfect. That is awesome. And then here is the skull. It's going inside. And then I have these smaller ones that I will pack really solid so that they will hold the same weight. And I thought I was going to have enough to make a couple of bath bombs, but that not, might not be the case. Let me 
press it really well. I may have only done four ounce bath bombs last year now that I'm thinking about it because I think these hold four ounces not five Well, I may only have enough to do these. I guess we'll see, huh? I love Halloween. Halloween is my favorite time of year. When we were younger, that was the time of year that we as a family would get together and make our costumes and do makeup. And my dad worked nights growing up. And so he would always take off for Halloween. And it was always so much fun because we got to spend that extra time with him. And if he didn't take off on Halloween, we would have, I can't say he always because sometimes he couldn't, but we would have a big Halloween party at my aunt, which is his sister's house. And those were the most fun ever. And even now, on Halloween, when it shows up on a weekend, we sort of do a haunted yard thing at her house. And all the trick-or-treaters that come by have to walk through the haunted yard to the front steps to get their candy. During the week, we can't really do it because, you know, everybody has to work. But on a Friday or a Saturday night... It is on like Donkey Kong. We make it super cool. And there are tons of kids that come. And they do know that, they're, that it only happens on weekends. So they look forward to weekend Halloweens. Wow, made just enough. I made a smaller batch than usual, but I really didn't think... I thought I'd have some left over. I can get this in and make four ounce bath bombs exactly. Awesome. Maybe a little bit over four ounces. But anytime I'm over like that, I will just say it's a four ounce bath bomb. The extra is just that extra. Give him a little bath bomb cap. Ha ha. Yay! Perfect. And see, popped right off of my finger now. Let's see which one has less. This one needs a little bit more. Yay! I love it when everything works out the way I want it to. Okay, you guys, here are the cauldron bath bombs. 
and the jack-o'-lantern bath bombs. Hope you guys like them. This is Heather from H&P Artistry wishing you luck, love, and a really great day. Bye, guys.